A British explorer in 1925 named Percy Fawcett ventured deep into the Amazon rainforest in search of a legendary city. It was rumored to be made entirely of gold with its king bathing in gold dust every day. However, despite leaving camp that day, Percy Fawcett never returned. Amazon rainforest surprisingly spans across multiple countries, sharing its vast 7 million square kilometers of area among them. To put this into perspective, it's so expansive that it could fit countries like India and the United Kingdom, and even more, 28 times over. Yet, despite our reach, we humans still occupy only a fraction of the oceans. Think about it. A Jan Ren, an accomplished explorer, couldn't even fathom exploring a large part of the forest. Speaking of which, a significant portion of the Amazon rainforest remains uncharted. It's home to an incredible diversity of plants and animals, with countless species still awaiting discovery. Every day, researchers unveil new species, adding to the forest's rich tapestry of life. With around 400 billion trees, the Amazon rainforest earns its title as Earth's lungs. It's responsible for a staggering 20% of the world's oxygen production. Imagine that. However, amidst this lush wilderness, there's a stark contrast. An estimated 200,000 indigenous people live here, largely disconnected from the outside world, nestled within the heart of nature's bounty. The Amazon rainforest, the largest on Earth, holds within its depths a tantalizing mystery, the legendary city of gold, also known as El Dorado. According to tales, nestled within these verdant expanses once lay a city entirely crafted from gold. Its king, it said, bathed in the waters of the Amazon River, adorned with gold powder each day, squandering the precious metal lavishly. The allure of El Dorado drew European explorers to South America in the 16th century. Armed with soldiers and a thirst for conquest, they ventured into the heart of the Amazon, clashing with the indigenous Ajan people. The Europeans established their own settlements, seizing control of the cities they built. By the end of the 16th century, rumors surfaced of a fabled city hidden deep within the Amazon, crafted entirely from gold. Determined to uncover El Dorado, the Europeans embarked on a relentless quest, scouring the rainforest's expanse. Their pursuit led to widespread destruction as they raised swathes of the Amazon in their fervent search. Despite encountering numerous tribes and amassing gold along the way, the elusive El Dorado remained beyond their grasp. Undeterred, the Europeans persisted in their quest for over two centuries, driven by the promise of untold riches concealed within the depths of the Amazon rainforest. After the legend of El Dorado was finally debunked, in the 19th century, British explorer Percy Fawcett set out on a quest to rediscover the fabled city. Determined and undeterred by previous failures, he embarked on a total of eight expeditions into the heart of the Amazon. However, during these expeditions, Percy Fawcett found no trace of El Dorado or any other cities. Instead, he encountered remnants of what European explorers had described in their accounts. In his final expedition, known as the Amazon in the last expedition, Percy ventured deep into uncharted territory. Disregarding El Dorado, Percy sought out a place called Rabatha, but tragically, he and his team never returned. It was in 1925, in the Brazilian state of Mato Grosso, where Percy Fawcett vanished without a trace. Analysis by scientists concluded that the area where Percy disappeared showed no signs of human habitation, ruling out the existence of cities or villages. However, advancements in technology over time have revealed some indications that indeed, at some point in history, human settlements may have thrived in these remote regions, a testament to Percy Fawcett's daring explorations. The place Percy Fawcett was searching for was indeed correct, but the means to find it were elusive. Many makamas, or ancient mounds, in the area showed no evidence of human activity upon initial examination. However, buried beneath the forest floor, researchers discovered human waste, indicating previous occupation. To uncover more secrets hidden by the dense vegetation, scientists employed LiDAR scanning devices, which revealed stone structures buried beneath the forest canopy. Over time, these structures had deteriorated, blending into the landscape. In their quest for El Dorado, researchers also explored a site located 15 kilometers from the coast in the Amazon. Here, they unearthed structures dating back 2,000 years, but the identity of El Dorado remained elusive. Despite extensive scientific inquiry, the exact location of El Dorado within the vast Amazon forest remains a mystery. The Amazon is home to numerous isolated tribes, some of whom have had no contact with the outside world. Anthropologists ponder how these tribes sustain themselves in such a harsh environment. 
One such tribe, the Piracpura, also known as the Western, resides in Brazil and represents the resilience of human adaptation in the jungle. Once numbering in the thousands, only 15 to 20 members of our tribe remain today. We are the last remnants of our once thriving community. Our existence came to light in 1998 when we made our first contact with the outside world. Through the efforts of anthropology, we were able to communicate our sorrow. Anthropologists deciphered our language, revealing the tragic tale of our decline. Our once proud clan was decimated by ruthless mafia gangs that encroached upon our forest home to mine its resources. They mercilessly slaughtered our kin, sparing only a handful of survivors. In the vast expanse of the Amazon, countless tribes like ours have carved out their own existence. How long have we dwelt here? Are our roots buried deep in the ancient soil, spanning thousands of years? The mysteries of our origins remain shrouded in the dense foliage of the forest, untouched by the passage of time. Confirmation of human presence in the Amazon didn't come until 2017, when archaeologists made a groundbreaking discovery deep within the Colombian rainforest. High up on the mountainsides, they uncovered a series of ancient paintings etched onto colossal stones that lay concealed within the earth. To unravel the mysteries hidden within these paintings, archaeologists embarked on an extensive excavation, unearthing a network of buried stones stretching over 13 kilometers. These stones, once nestled within the mountains, provided a window into the distant past, a time when the Amazon was gripped by the icy embrace of the last ice age. The paintings, estimated to be around 12,000 years old, depicted scenes of prehistoric life amidst a landscape devoid of forests, replaced instead by vast expanses of snow and ice. Among the images were depictions of long-extinct creatures such as the mammoth and the giant sloth, offering tantalizing clues about the fauna that once roamed the region. These ancient artworks also hinted at the lifestyle of the early inhabitants of the Amazon. From the paintings, archaeologists inferred how these ancient humans lived in harmony with their environment, surviving in harsh conditions and hunting formidable creatures that dwarfed them in size. In 2019, scientists made a startling discovery in North Brazil, an unusual site on Marawa Island in the heart of the Amazon forest. They stumbled upon the carcass of a humpback whale, a creature not native to the Amazon River. The timing of its appearance defied the laws of nature, leaving researchers perplexed. What made this discovery even more baffling was the condition of the whale. Weighing nearly 10 tons, the juvenile humpback was found stranded far above the ground, far from its natural habitat in the ocean. It had initially journeyed to warmer waters near the Amazon in November, seeking relief from the chilly Antarctic currents. But come February, it met a tragic end near the Amazon. Investigations revealed that the whale had died just four days before its discovery with no signs of injury or evidence of predation. So, how did this majestic creature find itself so far inland, deep within the Amazon forest? The mystery only deepens when we consider the logistics of its journey. How did the whale navigate from the sea to the river? And why would it venture into a region so far removed from its usual habitat? These questions linger, leaving scientists and researchers alike pondering the enigmatic circumstances surrounding this extraordinary event. In 2013, near Peru, a chemistry student named Troy came across a curious discovery, a peculiar structure nestled inside a plant on top of a leaf. In the center was a mysterious cone made of silk surrounded by a large silk fence. Intrigued by this discovery, the student took photographs and shared them online, arousing widespread interest. Nicknamed Silk Henge, this enigmatic structure confused observers as nothing like it had been seen before. In search of answers, Troy, the student, enlisted the help of scientists for further investigation. A team traveled to Peru and quickly discovered more than 45 similar structures in various trees and plants. Upon closer examination, they discovered that some trees had these peculiar formations on their leaves. This mysterious phenomenon has continued to baffle researchers, leading to further exploration and study. Upon bringing samples back to the laboratory and examining them under a microscope, researchers made an astonishing discovery. Tiny dust mites were found trapped within the silk. This observation confirmed that the structure wasn't built by the mites themselves, but rather by another organism. Further investigation revealed that the cone-shaped structure wasn't meant to last forever. After a few days, the cone began to disintegrate, revealing its true purpose. To the researchers' amazement, a baby spider emerged from the remnants of the cone. It turns out that this intricate structure is a unique adaptation of a spider species known as speci, found exclusively in the Amazon. These spiders construct silk fences around their eggs precisely for the purpose of trapping dust mites. 
When the spiderlings hatch, they have a readily available source of food thanks to these trapped mites. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Your support means a lot to us. If you enjoyed the content, please consider liking and sharing the video. Your feedback is valuable to us, so don't forget to leave a comment below. See you next time for more exciting content.